Welcome to the lesson 8.3 on cross sections and wondering how can you describe cross sections in three dimensional figures? Okay, there's some vocabulary to know here and it's all highlighted. We have an intersection that is a point or set of points common to two or more geometric figures. Oh boy, that is a lot of stuff there. So an intersection. So I would say an intersection would be right here. I have an intersection right there where, or it's probably easier to see at this point here, but an intersection would be this point here. It's uh, where two or more geometric figures uh, meet. Uh, a, and uh, like an intersection would be here. Two or more things cross. Okay, a plane is a flat surface that extends forever in all directions. So we're trying to, what we're talking about here is this blue thing supposed to be a plane. It's supposed to be slicing through this cone shape. And the intersection is said to be that circle. That's where the slice meets the cone. And then the cross section is the intersection of the three-dimensional figure. This cone is the three-dimensional figure and this triangular prism is the three-dimensional figure. Um, imagine a plane slicing through the pyramid shown or through a cone or a cone or a prism. So the intersection here is a circle and the intersection here is a triangle. It's highlighted in black and we're looking at that right there. A three-dimensional figure can have several different cross sections depending on the position and the direction of the slice and that slice is the plane, that plane right there. For example, in the intersection of the plane and cone, uh, I'm sorry, if the intersection of the plane and cone were vertical, the cross section would form a triangle. So we're vertical, plane and cone. Oh, we're vertical right here. The, so you imagine that this is no longer horizontal. So that's horizontal. You Vertical is straight up and down. If this were straight up and down, and you were to open it up, you would see that the cross section is actually a triangle. That's what they're saying right there. Here, describe the cross section. So you have this three dimensional shape, this rectangular prism, and the slice is there. What is the shape of the cross section? It is that outline triangle right there. And we have another one right here. And a right rectangular prism has six faces that are rectangles. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so I'm at, see this right here. Don't look at the cross section quite yet or the blue slice, which is a plane. Uh, take a look at three, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, see that you can uh, notice the six faces that are rectangle all through this rectangular prism. And now the blue slice, the intersection is that rectangle. Okay, and... For this one, we have a rectangular prism, but the slice is a different position. And that is a parallelogram, that outline intersection. And if we go straight vertical, it ends up being a rectangle. This right here is going to match this right here. This kind of looks like a square, but I guess they're calling it a rectangle. Okay. Conjecture. So based on this, is it possible to have a circular cross section in a right rectangular prism. Now I say no, because there's no curves in a right rectangular prism like that. Okay, describing cross sections. Uh, a right rectangular pyramid is a non-square base with, with a non-square base is shown. Boom. So the base, what it's sitting on in this case, is not a square. In a right pyramid, the point where the triangular sides meet the center is over the base. Okay, so that is over the base, as opposed to this could be over here off to the side. Okay, the shape of the base is a rectangle. You were, to you were told here it's non-square, so it's rectangular. The shape of each side is a triangle. That's each face over there. So is it possible for a cross section Imagine slices going through here. So slice, slice, slice. Could you get a square somehow slicing this? Well, no. If that bottom was a square, then you could slice it horizontally 
and you could get a square. Could you get a rectangle? Yeah, you just slice it horizontally like that, and you can get a rectangle. Could you get a triangle? Sure. You just slice right down there, just like that. Could you get a triangle? Yeah. I could slice straight down, or I could slice to the side. I get a triangle. Could I get a trapezoid? And I could get a trapezoid if I sliced it straight down like this, giving me something like this. Doesn't look very trapezoidish, but trapezoid has four sides where one, two sides are parallel, and those two sides would be parallel, the top and the bottom. Okay. Sketch the cross sections on the right. Uh, of the right rectangular prism below. Oh, okay. So, of the right rectangular prism. Okay, the rectangular pyramid, sorry. So that's a rectangle. So I would draw a rectangle. This, I would draw a triangle. Or maybe I should just draw a rectangle like this, huh? Like that, that's what it would be. If you look straight down. Um, and then this one would be a trapezoid. Sketch them so a trapezoid looks like that. What if? Suppose in figure B, okay, figure B, right there, uh, had a square base, would your answers in B be the same? All the same, but the first would be, uh, 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 but the first would be the same. Uh, the cross section would be a square. So if this, and I was mentioning that earlier, if that bottom was a square, then I could get a square for a cross section. I would just slice it horizontally. And that's what you got to know about cross sections.